Hey, what's up, Raven Nation? Uh, Oler M4 here. Uh, just an FYI. Now, if you're looking for my page, you gotta look under Mike Oler, O H L E R. Um, the reason for that is people are having trouble finding the Oler M4. Apparently, when you put it in, it comes up with like 18 different people. So I just changed it. Anywho, um, for you all wondering, the Eat It or Wear It challenge with the Steel Twins has been complete. Um, the video is up on their page. It was disgusting, but successful for us. I mean, it, it is what it is. So, a uh, recap of this past weekend. The Ravens played the Browns Thursday night. I'm not happy. Yeah, we won, but I am not happy. Why it took us to the second half of the game to get our shit together to win that game is beyond me. I mean, it's... Pathetic. Um, Flacco, you gotta get your head out your ass, man. I mean, for real, you're... We could win so many more games if you wouldn't throw the goddamn ball 10 feet away from your receivers. I mean, it's... You're better than this, man. Everybody thought at one point you were an elite player. You're definitely showing that they were wrong. Um, anywho, the Steelers... Uh, I apologize. That's... Basically what I can say, uh, you guys had the game won until you guys wanted to do that stupid-ass face mask penalty. So your defense needs to get their shit out of their ass just like Flacco does. You guys could have beat the Cowboys. The Cow we would not have woke up this morning with the damn Cowgirls being number one in the NFL. That just doesn't happen. So in a way, I'm, I'm glad they are because that means the New England Patriots lost last night. Yeah, baby. So, anywho, um, I, on another note, I am a little bit of a Tennessee Titan fan, um, as you can see. The reason behind that is I was stationed in Tennessee when I was in the Army, and, you know, it's your home state, we got bored, that's what we went to do, back when it was known as LP Field. So the fact that they demolished the Green Bay Packers yesterday was awesome, um, Rodgers had no idea what the hell hit him. I mean, it was great. I'd love to see Mariota step up his game and become an elite quarterback some years down the road. So we will see. You're getting there. You got a better record already than you did the last three, four years. So um, this week, the Ravens, we got the Cowboys. Hopefully we can dethrone them. Uh Unfortunately, if the Patriots win, that means they go back to no number one. But it also shows that both teams are defeatable. So this Wednesday night, the Pittsburgh Penguins play the Washington Capitals. Again, another rivalry that the Steel Twins and I have. I am a Caps fan, believe it or not. Uh, Ovechkin, he's getting older, but it, it, he doesn't look like he's slowing down at all. So it, it's going to be fun. I'm not issuing any challenge to that game because we'll probably lose. The Penguins seem to be a pretty fierce team this year. I mean, they were last year, too. Hell, who could stop them? So, anywho, um, things seem to be starting to get interesting in the NFL. My NASCAR season's coming to an end, so I will be doing more videos. I will be more up-to-date on stats. Um, my Fantasy League, although it... Starting a season without really looking at who's good, who's not, who I should have, who I shouldn't have. I'm doing pretty doggone good. I mean, I have three losses, but it's better than my Ravens, better than the Steelers. So, but like I say, any given Sunday, anybody can win. So, I apologize that I am keep looking outside my window here. It looks like the parking authority is towing a church bus. Um, that bus has been there for quite a long time. And we don't know whose it is or why it's there. Or it's not the church that's around us. So I think they finally are getting in trouble. Anywho, but it I don't know what to say. At least now, Steelers, you could dry your terrible towels off from all those tears from the last two weeks. You guys were picking on us for our four-game losing streak. You guys are now the four-game losing streak. You guys can bounce back, though. You got the Browns. That's all you need. You need one good win. You're right back in it. Um, another note.
For all you people out there that want to keep sending me messages saying I'm not a Ravens fan because I respect the Steelers. Let me tell you one thing. Shut the fuck up. Get the hell off my page. Don't message me because if you don't like what I say, you don't gotta watch it. Welcome to the USA where you have the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. If I have to block you, I'll block you. But I don't care about your little two cents. I'm a Pennsylvania boy. I'm the type of person that if respect is due, I give it. The Steelers have always been a dominant team. It's not like, you know, half you little Browns fans that are all the way down here. You know, the Steelers are at least like right here. My Ravens are like right here so it's not that much of a gap between my ravens and the steelers but look at that gap from yours you know okay you're die hard you stick with your team congratulations so do i but respect is respect so i apologize for being a little harsh i'm just tired of idiots i can't stand them i will put you in your place i'm not scared I live in a town in Pennsylvania called York, PA, where there's been a hundred and some fucking shootings in nine months. One was in my backyard. Do I got to do what I got to do to protect my family? Yeah, but if it was just me here, I wouldn't be worried. I'm not scared. So threats, you can keep them coming. I'll laugh at you every dang time. I'll start calling you out on my videos. So do what you got to do. It's whatever to me, bro. So... Anyway, beyond that, no more time on idiots. So uh, I want to thank the Steel Twins for being, you know, men about the Eat It or Wear It Challenge. My wife, their sister, was very, very rough on them. I would never have done anything like that. Um, I probably would have made them wear Ravens jerseys for the Steelers game in December. But sorry, bro. <laughs> Anywho. You guys know what I got to say. Be safe. Be smart. Look out for your families. Make sure you're, you know, tunk, hunkered down and safe. And make sure you got your stomach starting to open up a little bit because turkey day's coming. And that's one of the best days of the year. Uh, make sure you're safe on the highways. You know, holidays are here. Going to be a lot of driving. A lot of people on the road. And a lot of people don't know how to drive. Okay, they're idiots on the road. We had an accident here today where the coroner had to be called. Um, so we, we don't need that anymore. So, anywho, be safe, be smart. I'll holler at you guys probably Thursday on the reaction to the Caps and Penguins game. And I will holler at you all later. Raven Nation.